ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு கோடை ஓ திஸ் இஸ் டே டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் அண்ட் த கொஸ்டின் ஃபார் டுடே இஸ் கால் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் லெட் மீ ஜஸ்ட் ரீட் த கொஸ்டின் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வில் ஜென் டிஸ்கஸ் தி அப்ரோச் அண்ட் ட்ரை டு ப்ரோக்ராம் திஸ் ஸோ த கொஸ்டின் இஸ் கிவன் அ நான் நெகட்டிவ் நம்பர் ரெப்ரஸன்ட் ஆஸ் த லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் டிஜிட்ஸ் ஆட் ஒன் டு த நம்பர் தட் இஸ் இன்க்ரிமெண்ட் த நம்பர் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் பை த டிஜிட்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஆட் ஒன் டு இட் அண்ட் the digits are stored such that the most significant big, uh, digit is the first element of the array okay so the question is that you are given a number which has been represented in the form of a list okay so if you consider the number 123 they have uh, represented this particular number as a list meaning that you are given an array and you have three elements in the array and those are the digits of the number 1 2 and 4 okay this is how they are representing the number 124 as a list so uh, they are given a number in this is in this fashion and you are supposed to add 1 to this number okay so if you add 1 to this number it would become 125 so you are just going to add uh, what 1 to the last digit meaning it will become 125 here okay you are just manipulating only one digit or one element of the array but this is a very simple case but what if the number is 129 okay what if the number is 129 what would you do in that case you are supposed to add 1 to this number right so the last digit of the number is 9 when you try to add 1 to this it would become 10 and you are supposed to just represent only one digit as an element so what you will do is that you will make this particular number as 0 and you will add one to the element to the left of it okay so uh, like oh, in other terms you are adding one to the next significant number of which is 2 here so 1 plus 2 will give you 3 so this particular digit becomes 3 so 129 plus 1 gives you 130 so this would be the answer now we will consider yet another case where we have the number 999 right 99 and 9 in this case what would you do here you are going to add 1 to this number right so the elements that are present in this three element array would be 9 9 and 9 and you are going to add 1 to this last digit which would make it 0 and you will you will be required to add 1 to the next significant bit right so you are supposed to add 1 to this second 9 which would also make it 0 and you are supposed to add 1 to the next significant bit again right so plus 1 here which would also make it 0 and you are supposed to add 1 to the next significant bit and as you can see there is no one here like there is no other digit here so you are going to add a new digit and make it 1000 right we are given 999 and when you try to add 1 to it it will become 1000 so that would be the answer okay so in this case you would add a new element at the starting of the array okay so this is the uh, way that you are supposed to solve this problem and uh, like it's quite simple uh, you are just going to have a for loop and that for loop is going to traverse from the last element of the array up until the first element and if the digit that you are currently present at is 9 you are going to turn it into 0 and if it is not 9 you will be just adding 1 to that digit okay and if you have reached the starting of the list because we are traversing from the end of the list right if you have reached the starting of the list it means that you are supposed to add a new digit to it new 1 to it so you will add uh, one at the starting of the list and that is how we solve this problem so i hope you understood uh, some idea now we'll try to program this you'll understand this way better okay now we'll move we will move on to geeks for geeks so here we run geeks for geeks and i'll give the link to this question in the description so you'll try to you can try to solve this after watching this video and uh, the name of the method that you're going to write is called increment and are given a vector as input like it's essentially an array you don't have to think too much about it and you're also given another integer n uh, which is the size of this vector right okay so as we already discussed you are just going to use a for loop to traverse through this list and we are going to do this from 
the right side of the list. You are going to start from the end of the list and go all the way up to the first element of the list. So for int i equals n minus 1 because this is 0 based indexing and i greater than or equal to 0 which will be your first element and i minus minus because we are traveling in reverse right. Now inside this you are going to check if your current element is 9. So if array of i is equal to 9. If that is the case you are going to turn that into 0 okay. Now uh, like we are going to turn that into 0 meaning that you will be adding 1 to the next significant bit but you don't have to handle that in this particular case the else class will handle that okay so we, we are obviously going to traverse through this uh, list okay and uh, if if we leave this if here that is if you have 199 as the input array of i equal to 9 uh, will be the condition that will be met and you are turning that into 0 and you are moving to the next iteration okay in the next iteration you will be at the second 9 okay that is the second digit in that case it will also be a uh, 9 and you will uh, turn it into 0 right and uh, it will move on to the next iteration where you will be at 1 okay in that case you uh, it will come into the else class right because the current digit is not 9 and in that case you will just add 1 to it okay i am just incrementing it by 1 by using array of i plus plus you have incremented it by 1 now when this is done you can just return the array or the vector okay because you have completed the plus 1 here so you can return the array now if the control of the program comes out of this loop okay in that case it means that you have exhausted all the digits in the list and you still haven't added the 1 okay so in that case you will add a new element at the beginning of this vector and how exactly are we going to do that we are going to use the method called insert okay so arr dot insert of arr dot begin which will give you the address of the first element comma one which is the integer that you are going to insert into it and you can now return arr okay so this condition will be met like for the uh, instance 999 right in that case we are going to add a new digit at the beginning so for those conditions this will work okay so now we will try to run this and see if it works the code is working fine and all test cases have passed hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments and i will get back to you and uh, go ahead and try this in uh, geeswagix so thank you so much for watching see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now